Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I am here at Pacific Northwest Bimtech. Uh, I believe they used to be called Powerhouse. Um, Ivan Hernandez is going to be taking a look at my car and doing some maintenance items. We're going to be doing the plugs, uh, coils, um, O2 sensors, and then putting in VRSFs. Uh, catalyst downpipes. Uh, he's going to kind of take a once over of the car, make sure there's nothing else that I need to do maintenance wise, uh, figure out what index my injectors are, and uh, let me know what I need to do to make sure this car stays reliable. Uh, the other thing that we'll either be doing today or I'll be doing myself is um, the MHD tune and the XHP tune. So I am here at the shop. The shop uh, is currently closed. Um, they're gonna be open real soon. Um, gonna have the car here pretty much all day. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna do walnut blasting also. Um, so I got here early so that I could drop it off to him and get him uh, going on everything. Um, if you haven't been to the shop, uh, there's no uh, fancy banners outside or huge signs um, outside, um, but I have been in the shop before and uh, the cars in there kind of speak for themselves um kind of show you guys what it looks like it's just right here on the corner that big bay right there garage doors how you get into their shop but like i said nothing nothing too spectacular on the outside of the building but what happens on the inside is all that really matters uh so stay tuned keep watching hey what's up guys so all the work is done um i'll kind of go over everything but it's the next morning and i figured i kind of get a cold start uh of what it sounds like with the down pipes um that's the only thing that's done the rest of the exhaust is stock um but it's the morning so definitely cold start let's see what it sounds like <laughs> Probably hearing a lot of turbo rattle. Um, I definitely need to address that issue when the time comes. But as far as the way it sounds, it's a little bit deeper of a note, but not much louder than stock in my opinion. And uh, starting to quiet down now. Doesn't really sound too bad other than I could really hear the turbo rattle now. You see at the higher RPMs, like see once I could put just enough gas in there, turbo rattle goes away. It's pretty quiet at that point. All right, well that's cold start from inside the car. Uh, if you're wondering why those service engine soon light is on, it's more than likely because I have catalyst downpipes and I need to uh, uh, tune that out. Alright guys, so I kind of told you guys I was taking the car to Bimtech Pacific Northwest. Um, had Ivan take a look at a few things and then I let you guys listen to Cold Start. So I'm going to give you like a quick update of everything that's happened so far. Uh, like I said, took it over to Bimtech. Ivan and his guys were able to replace my spark plugs, replace my coils, replace my O2 sensors, and install the downpipes, the countless downpipes. I uh, took a once over over everything, and the main things that he noticed that I should take care of is there is a oil pan gasket leak, and then there is um, a bushing for my front control arms that's... Uh, got a superficial like crack it's worn so it's not the the control arm itself it's the bushing um so i'll have to replace those other than that the car checked out pretty good uh no real concerns so what i'm going to do now is kind of go over some of the photos uh that we were able to take of the car while it was in the shop all right so here's a photo of the down pipes before they were installed and now what you're going to see is each um intake and how dirty they are showing how much carbon buildup there is in there before we ended up doing the walnut blasting i could tell you that ivan and the guys at bimtech did an amazing job 
you're about to see how much cleaner they are now that they've been done. So there they are dirty, and here you can start looking at them all cleaned up. You can really see it there. Everything's nice metallic color instead of black and grungy. Did an amazing job. Here's the car just chilling in their shop as they're working on it. And then I'm going to kind of point out some of the bad things that I mentioned. Forgot about this. So there's a aftermarket vacuum tubes there, the blue ones. Here's the crack bushing for the control arm I was talking about. Right here you can see the oil leak. About to show a different view of it and you can see it more so. So that's where I need to replace it. About to show you some plugs. For some reason I got sent a wrong plug and ended up needing to get the right one. Luckily they had them there at the shop. All right, I figured I'd show you guys uh, what was done. So I had these cowl filters that were put in, so all these plastics are out of the way. I want to do something with this so it's not just hanging here. Uh, I know people have taken off the plastic cover and then zip tied it to the crossbars, and I definitely think that's something I'm going to go into. Uh, probably too hard to see, but if you look down in there, you can kind of see where the downpipes are. And then it already had the Berger Motorsport steel cone, but here is that um, charge pipe with the tile uh, blow off valve. But that's pretty much everything in here. And then something I didn't mention is um, I have new wheels and tires. These are the Apex Arc 8s in the front. They are 18 by 8.5 plus 45 with 235 40 18s and then in the rear they are 18 by nine and a half plus 58 uh, with 265 35 um, 18s they are continentals uh, extreme contact dws uh, 06 plus those are pretty much an all weather uh, or all season um, high performance tire I went with that because here in Pacific Northwest, it definitely rains a lot and we do get snow every now and then. So I wanted to be able to have decent traction uh, during those times. Well, that's it. Hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for more updates later.